Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm Nightbuzzer and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create better looking caustics. We are only using the path tracing because in late mode we don't have caustics yet. And as you know, let's see by default, this is using the approximate caustic command and it's a good start still you don't get that realistic caustic effect from what you see in real life and that is quite hard to achieve in Unreal Engine 5 because they really haven't worked on this um, effect so by being able to use caustics we need to disable the command that this path tracing dot approximate caustics and we're gonna set this to zero and now you can see that it's starting to calculate the caustics so you can see some artifacts going over the place but it's not great now my path tracing settings are just set to default and the samples per pixel I set it to 128 just for my viewport and 20 bounces. Now this is not great but the solution that I found is uh, connected to the directional light. Now let me go into my scene and show you what I mean. There we have the sun from which we calculate the caustics. Now the source angle is the radius of the sun itself. And if we set this higher, you can see that the sun is growing in radius. I mean, even if we can 10 or 100, <laughs> which is way too much. So let's just keep it to 5. Go back into the scene or whatever. And yeah, I've also tried the intensity value, but it didn't seem to change that much. So I just let it to default. Now, if we check again with path tracing when we max out our radius of the sun, you can see that the caustic um, calculations are happening more uh, efficient, even at 128 samples. But there's a downside to this by um, using a source angle of 5, makes the shadow soft and maybe quite unrealistic because in real life shadows aren't that soft but you can see some improvements here but if we set a value somewhere in between it's still gonna have some nice shadows that aren't that soft and still be able to calculate some of those caustics now I'm gonna do some render tests with the different settings so you can see what I mean. Now I've set my output to 3440 30, by 1440p. The anti-aliasing I'm gonna set it to first 512 samples and I've turned on the path tracer and I chose PNG. This was the final result that I got after four minutes and a half. Now keep in mind that I don't have the best PC out there I only have an i5 9500 and an RTX 2060 Super, so if you have a more powerful PC, the timing might be faster. And this is the 124 samples, it's a bit better, but still not perfect. So now I've increased the temporal sample count to 4 and I have left the spatial sample count to 128. Those multiply will give us 512 samples. Now, let's render and I'll show you the differences and how does that affect our final output. Okay guys, the render is complete and it took in an insanely amount of time. It took almost 8 minutes for a 512 sample frame. Now, what I want to show you is the difference between the first one also 512 samples but but this one had one temporal sample count and you can see there are more details regarding the caustics but they're very crap looking 
and the temporal sample count just blends them a bit more and they look a bit better but still not so great. So for this one I set the temporal sample count to 2 and the spatial samples to 256 which is gonna give us the end result of 512 samples again uh, but I've increased the radius of the sun to 5 so we're gonna compare it to the 2.5 version at the end. This is the final result you can see that the caustics are much more detailed and uh, not so chunky than this version but as I said before the shadows are very soft okay so this is the finished product 2040 samples and it took 15 minutes and 30 seconds to render let's compare it to the first one I mean there's lots of improvements even here here in this area you can see it's more mu much more defined this area we basically have no caustics here and in this shot we do and even this blurred one looks better and this is the 512 samples But as you can see, it takes a lot of samples to render such a difficult scene. And it's not even that difficult. And please don't overdo it with lots of glass objects. But let's say for example you have an interior scene. And you want to use maybe some spotlights. Let's go back into our viewport and let's do a quick test as you can see very little calculations are happening by default and that's because the radius of the light is very small close to zero look at sh how sharp the shadow is ignore these because these are blurred by the depth of field effect so let's select our spotlight and you can see the source radius is zero so let's set this to 2 and now you can see it's the same principle here the bigger the radius the more light calculations are gonna happen in your scene so let's see how this turns out quite disgusting and let's see if we put all these values to 2 yeah still not great but it definitely needs more samples I'm gonna let's give it to 2.5 2.5 because that is quite let's go into our, our path tracing samples and let's set this to 512 and let's wait to see how the end result looks okay so it's finished so you can see the results aren't too bad I mean, they're not great, but still, with enough samples, and if you properly render this scene, you might get good results. But until Epic Games find a solution to this and fix the caustics so that they can work faster, uh, this is the only thing that we can do. And yeah, it's very demanding to have to wait so much time in order for the render to complete but the overall result is in my opinion is quite a decent one so I would recommend if you want to take a shot like a close shot of a glass or something you can use the caustics because it gives quite a nice result other than using the approximate so that kind of completed my tutorial of caustics in Unreal Engine. Now don't forget to subscribe if you like this video. We're very close to a thousand subscribers so I would very much appreciate if you like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comments what kind of tutorial would you like me to do next. Well I wish you a great day. 
and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.